Hi everyone, there is a very, very strong astrological event that hasn't happened for 27 years. Now, that's a pretty long time and essentially um, that's almost as long as I've been alive. Wow, okay. So <laughs> what we are going to really look into is how this impacts things, what it means and what it's bringing to the table. So what I'm going to bring you to the table is a reading in relation to this. Um, there are some strong messages for you and also if you would like to, you know, I just want to say my introduction. If you'd like to win a free reading with me, everything's always down below for you to check out. In the description box, if you would like to purchase any personal services, you know, it's black magic energy removal, rituals to manifest different areas of your life. There's intention items on my website, which thousands of people have seen results with. Um, you know, there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, candles, stage bundles, all that good stuff for various areas of your life. And there's also the personal tarot readings and things like that. Review section for the intention items is at the bottom of my website. So everything's there. And let's begin and see what this particular astrological event has in store for you. So have this deck that I'm going to use. Let's begin. Oh, good. I'm going to take the, the top card because quite a few of them flipped over. So if I just do that, and it was this one. Oh, karma. Okay. So basically what's happening is that you honestly can't make this up, okay? Karmic Saturn <laughs> which is exactly what this particular whole astrological event is about, okay, is traveling retrograde. So it's now in retrograde um, and it's happening in the sign of Aquarius um, for the last time until 2050, which is quite, it's, it's quite a big thing. Um, so basically what this is doing, okay, is especially since we've got the karma card here, it's basically forcing you to look at your life and to re you know, reevaluate. So it's a big wake up call that's basically transforming your life in a massive way. It's allowing you to really look at your own personal dreams, right? Who's limiting you? It's a real question. Who's limiting you in life? Who makes you upset in life? Who is making you constantly think about them when you've got other dreams and things like that, that you need to put, you know, that energy and that focus and that dedication towards who is making you feel worthless, who is making you feel upset, um, sad, stressed out, really just draining your energy like a vampire. Who, who, who is that? And, and why are you giving your power to this person so much? You know, why are you, um, why are you letting them control your emotions? Right? Like that's, that's a really, really big aspect here. So it's about, um, understanding what's limiting you. Is it, you know, um, personal traumas from the past, things that people did towards you in the past that upset you still until this day? Why are we feeding power to that? Um, and why hasn't um, healing taken place to a greater degree? Is it because you're waiting for certain things to happen? You know, so it's really about asking yourself all of those questions and wondering like, hmm, do I need to detach away from this person? Do I need to put more energy and focus towards myself and heal myself? You know, because what is karma? Karma is memory, right? Karma is stored memory. This astrological um, event, you know, hasn't happened in 27 years, but also <laughs> it, it's it's a long period of time, right? So that's what I'm also trying to say here as well, is that it's going to allow you to look within and to really honestly evaluate, like, is this person good for me? Is this situation good for me? Does my job serve me? Does it make me happy? Are there some changes I need to make to that? Why am I holding on? Is it a pattern? You know, you're going to be asking yourself so many questions. So during this time, okay, um, whenever you're watching this reading, of course, it's more of a timeless reading. Whenever you're watching this, I think you're going to ask yourself a lot of questions. And uh, what I also see here is that you're going to uh, really figure out what's limiting you from pursuing your dreams and accomplishing your goals, right? So are your efforts aligned with your values and coming from a place of truth? Or is it coming from a place of insecurity? Is it coming from a place of codependency? Because some of you may be very codependent on certain people, right? Like you you might be thinking, oh, well, I would just be so happy if I just end up with this one person, you know, but is that codependency? And look, Look, I, I mentioned it, healing. You can't make this up. Look, there's a lot of cards in this deck, okay? And it's so, so incredible how two cards that literally symbol, uh, symbolize this astrological event have come out. 
that's a huge sign, <laughs> definitely, okay, so it's telling you to heal, it's telling you to put more of that energy towards yourself, a lot of people don't want to do this, why, because it's just so much easier to sit there and wait for things rather than actually do this, but guess what, your abundance comes your way when you do not wait for things and you continue to focus and progress in your own personal life and take responsibility for the things that you can control, that's the key, okay, so... What I think is also extremely important here is that there is going to be, you know, a really strong kind of, um, what's the word, like revolutionary um, event, you know, that can take place, which can really give you a lot of power. This is related to having, having an epiphany that really just brings you a lot more power. get some tarot cards oh yeah look at that judgment and the four of swords yep yep you know what's really interesting here is that some of you've been going around in this cycle um, Saturn is all about sort of self-sufficiency, but it's also about comfort zone. And it's also to do with your home life, routine, you know, and, and wanting that predictability in your life. However, sometimes that can trap you in situations that aren't good for you, right? Because you just feel like, oh, I want this, you know, particular thing, particular person. It's just comfortable to stay here rather than go towards something that serves me more. So that's another thing that you're going to be considering is, am I just, you know, stuck in a cycle that doesn't actually serve me? But that I want more. So the best example I can give you is, is sort of when people, right, are in a romantic situation and they really like a person, right, but then they're not being treated well, very well. And what happens in this particular situation is that you know you deserve better, but because it's just too much to go down the path of getting to know someone else, you'll just happily stay in a situation that doesn't serve you. And then you'll consistently wonder, why isn't this person giving me what I actually want? You know, So it's one of those things where actually this whole situation basically allows you to understand what's going on in that particular pattern and to potentially also have these epiphanies where you can understand how to better manage what it is that you want in the future okay so we've got here truth yep so there you go right you understand this this whole astrological event is allowing you to see everything for what it is no more rose tinted glasses okay seven of cups we're snapping out of that fantasy you're snapping into a mode of healing okay you're making better judgments you're basically able to see people for who they are that's what it's also going to help with it can allow better people to come your way who are now more vibrationally aligned to who you are in regards to these epiphanies and thoughts that you're having because remember when you level up things will also level up around you you may not see things leveling up around you straight away but it happens okay over the course of time that's the thing some people you know they're they uh, you know this could happen okay so sometimes with you where you <laughs> you're thinking oh yeah i want to heal you know and then you're trying to do so and you're like nothing's really happening hello hello universe nothing's happening well sometimes it doesn't happen exactly when you want it to you know straight away but you have to stay on that course i think that's really important it's a little bit like okay and this is just an example i'm giving you um if somebody wants to get to their goal weight for example right and they're eating you know well um they're sleeping well they are getting enough sleep you know because sleep also does contribute to good um you know uh, weight goals and you know weight, weight loss and things like that um and essentially, they might think to themselves, "Ah, oh, it's been three days. I'm not seeing a result." Okay, guess it doesn't work. Back to my, uh, back to my food that I used to enjoy even more. <laughs> you know, so it's it's really about moderation. You know, it's about staying on the path. You don't have to be so strict. I think that's another important thing. But it's about 
creating that moderation and that balance in your life where essentially you don't just give up, right? Because healing is a process. Healing is not easy. You will feel a lot of emotion. You can feel frustrated. You can feel like you don't even want to do it sometimes. But the key here is to stick with it in a way that feels good for you. Highly recommend meditation. It will allow you to feel calm, especially when, you know, Saturn can be very triggering. Um, it can bring a lot of past memories to the surface and those emotions as well. We've got the nine of pentacles, we've got the two of wands, and we also have the ace of pentacles as well. So, whew, what do you want your life to be? I'm asking you so many questions because that's literally what this entire reading is about. And if, you know, the affirmation, I always give an affirmation, don't I, for the readings. And the thing here is, I will transform my life. That is your affirmation. I will transform my life. And there are so many ways for you to do so, whether it's through personal healing, whether it is really through a lot of, you know, um, personal energies. I just feel here that you will get to a point where you can transform your life and take care of yourself and put yourself first throughout the course of all of this, which I think is really powerful and also very, very significant. Now, I also see here as well that there is the energy of peace. Peace confirmation okay so the universe is telling you keep going you got this that is a stunning card wow oh the colors of that oh wow okay uh we've also got beyond we've got revolution look at these miracles channel claim clam sorry clam clam glam not even clam i was about to say clam and this image doesn't really go very well together and that's why i just had to keep reading it because i was like I, that doesn't seem like clam you know like clamming up it, it, it didn't seem like that it actually says glam but i read it as clam anyways so it's glam wow wow look at the top row i think that that matches with the ace of pentacles more abundance is coming your way if you are willing to let go of situations that do not serve you okay a revolution will happen you will have an epiphany you will go beyond what you actually think you're capable of you know you're being protected by your angels and your guides this is a confirmation that better is coming your way you know especially with the two of wands some of you look out into the world and think oh i just have so much better than this situation but i'm still holding on because you know it's just too comfortable to leave the situation right but maybe you're wearing rose tinted glasses Okay, so those rose tinted glasses will come off. You'll be able to see that, you know, things really can progress for you, that there will be miracles that occur. Um, and also channel as well, you know, there's a sense here of spiritual practice is really going to open up the realm for you to have so much more in your life than you could have ever thought you could have before. So that is basically what's happening with Saturn. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to say, you know, of course, if this reading resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below. And um, yeah, that is basically what we do have here. So yeah, that's, that's basically what we have. And if this helps you and gives you lots of clarity, um, let me know. <laughs> and also, yeah, don't forget to subscribe as well and, um, check out my Instagram and my TikTok. I post on there every single day if you wanted to, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye everyone. Bye.